Okay, YouTube videos. This has just popped up on my laptop and I'm invited to try Microsoft Clip Champ. So there's a good possibility that this next video that you see will have been edited with Clip Champ. Um, I won't have time to explore all its features. All I'm hoping for is that I can quickly and easily produce something to upload to YouTube. Let's see how I get on. Well, the first thing I notice about ClipChamp is it looks as though it's been done as an app. It's only got 3.1 out of 5 stars from 248 ratings. So it must be quite new if it's only got 248 ratings. Um, I'm going to try opening it. My, uh, this current PC is very slow. I'm not sure that uh, this app, because it looks like it's an app. I'm used to having software, an embedded software, and my favourite and most used, um, I don't know why that's popped up, uh, software prior to Microsoft dropping it was media, some sort of media creator, which is included with Windows. And then it was just that under photos, you got something called video editor. Let me just click photos up for a moment. It's down there. So that in photos, you have video editor and video editor gives you a fair number of features to add videos from anywhere on your PC and link them together. But there are some features uh, that I missed, such as there was a global feature for fading between clips. And here in, uh, and there was a, a feature which allowed you to put an easily add a title and closing sequences and comments and text. And here, adding it with all the filters and things was not so easy. Um, I don't know what's going on. This is downloading some of the things I've clicked. Uh, but that is what Microsoft replaced their previous thing with. I have used it, but I wasn't as happy uh, as with the previous version. Let's see if ClipChamp leaves me any happier. And let's get rid of some of these things which are running just now. It might be that this is linked with ClipChamp. It needs to download Microsoft Edge WebView to runtime. Um, no idea. I have just recently updated the uh, laptop because it asked for an update and ClipChamp may have popped up because I've gone through and done the update. So can't help you with that, but uh, let's see. So while that Microsoft Edge was installing, somewhere down there, it says we're installing the software you need to get started. Uh, so there's bits and pieces of software it needs to put onto this machine. Uh, and as I say, it's slow enough for you to see this happening. What we got down there? Well, a couple of things running. Well, it says it uses tracking via cookies. Uh, I'm going to say, oops, no, only allow minimal cookies. What's this? Something else has popped up over this one underneath. So just a moment. Oh, no, only allow minimum cookies. Uh, continue with Google, I think, for that bit. I don't know what that, that pop-up was that occurred over there. Uh, keep using this app. Yes, let's not use Edge. Let's use Firefox. Let's keep away from Microsoft for things like uh, that. Let's not use this silly Explorer. Okay. So configuring it, I'm using my Google account uh, with ClipChamp and I'm using Firefox as the browser just to stay clear of Microsoft uh, projects. And it's opened up a, a web page. It's opened up my browser web page with a new tab. And my Google account's on there. So let's see where we get to. I'll keep you posted. 
and at this point in the process it has changed from the clapperboard image to this rotating whatever it is rotating thing um, but it is presumably still loading and configuring things so on a slow laptop it's not a very quick thing to install uh, most of you will have a faster device than what I'm using so you should get a much quicker install than I'm getting uh, so what has happened here is let's click off that uh, sign in to continue to clipchamp so um, when I had that open with that rotating thing what I needed to do was to slide over to this one which is my Firefox browser to get this sign in uh, so that uh, I can create an account to use with clipchamp and so I'm, I think that's the next stage of the process so if you've got that rotating circle, look for your browser and look for, for where you sign in. So there we go. Clipchamp free video editor. Uh, yep, let's allow that. And uh, you're almost good to close this window uh, to continue with Clipchamp. Uh, no only allow minimum cookies don't click that except all so close this window well just close this window there's the close tab let's do that sorry we've i'm having trouble getting your pages back let's go back to this clip jump thing here what sorts of videos bring you to clip jump okay this is where we are so style of videos let's have a look education you're a content creator, business, corporate, personal. Let's say I'm a content creator. Uh, influencer. Am I an influencer, guys? Do I influence you? Gamer, musician, podcaster, vlogger. You're vlogging <coughs> this right now, aren't you? Yes. Uh, there we go. So, um, right. And this is it. Now, create a video. So we've got to this, uh, start with a template. Mm, well, YouTube is what I use. So let's start with a YouTube template. Why not see how it goes? There are various options back there. Uh, Time-lapse music video. Thanks for watching. Uh, a geometric YouTube gaming video. Glitchy YouTube gaming video. Lots of gaming videos. Wow. Lots of gaming videos. Uh, intro to cooking. So I'll scroll through those. Cooking ones. 12 week fitness journey. Subscribe for more fitness. Uh, cooking. Travel diary. Uh, what? How would you describe my YouTube? There we go. Okay. So lots of uh, templates there for YouTube. Uh, let's go to create a video. And um, this one will appear. But also uh, I'm using it for a garden railway and another railway video that I'm going to be putting up onto YouTube. So these will be produced. Oh, as long as it works for me, it should do. USB device not recognised. Uh, did not does not recognize it okay that's interesting that's this is that phone this is the very phone that I'm videoing this with oops sorry I'll unplug it there we go uh, it just looks like a standard video let's just enlarge it add media um, output screen I'm sure this is the timeline this way you put the things in uh, so it's a standard video editing uh, thing. What I'm going to look for is ease of maybe had adding music, which is not uh, copyright, and which YouTube recognises as being not copyright. That's always hard. Uh, the other thing is, can I do transitions between my video clips? 
uh, an apply to all, which was easily possible. The fades were easily possible going back a while uh, with Microsoft. Can I add captions or words on parts of a video easily? Because you might want to just put some note on, add some notes onto a video. Those are the sort of things that I'll be looking for. And so if you see those appear on the video as it comes up, then you'll know that that's happened. Uh, those were in, this text is down there. I don't see filters as a particular thing. There's filters. I don't know whether that, some video programs in filters, you have to use filters to add text. Oh, there's a fade there, there's fades. So I'll try fading between clips. So there we are. Uh, whatever video editor you've used before, then this is not too unfamiliar to you. You should recognize this. Okay, right. So uh, I wanted to get it to access the phone. And what popped up was a warning to say uh, access to the phone had been blocked it, the, because this program, Microsoft Clipchamp, was wanting to access it and the firewall was blocking it because it was a potential security threat. So I clicked to allow it to access the phone. And now it's asking me to scan with your phone that uh, code to open the website, to select your media. Keep this project open while importing media from your phone and you can record your camera or screen. Uh, so I'm going to stop recording now while I scan that code uh, to allow access to the phone. And this is in the stage where I'm trying to add media to a video project. Says it all, doesn't it? Mm hmm. Well, I say it's a slow PC. Uh, at the point at which you're uploading from the Clipchamp app to your to YouTube, then it opens a browser page where you have to allow some things in YouTube, allow Clipchamp to access and control your YouTube. You do all that, then it says close this window to return to Clipchamp. Well, went through all that, went back to Clipchamp, and it looks like it isn't responding. 